Howdy everyone, this is ASCE Dallas Branch Past President Jonathan Brower with your ASCE Dallas Branch Centennial History Moment of the Month. I'd like to share a little bit with you all about an important piece of Dallas civil engineering history that is very near and dear to me, White Rock Lake. White Rock Lake is a recreational hub if you live, work, or play within the city limits of Dallas. However, it's important to note that the lake was initially created by civil engineers in the city of Dallas as an infrastructure necessity. From 1900 to 1910, the population of the city of Dallas more than doubled. This put enormous stress on the city's water supply that, at the time, was relying on Turtle Creek Reservoir, which was close to present-day Bachman Lake. Under Mayor Stephen Hay, the city of Dallas began to require land around White Rock Creek to build a reservoir. The specific location for the reservoir was chosen because the lake would be just high enough in elevation above downtown Dallas to provide enough water pressure for the city's tallest building with minimal pumping. The Fred A. Jones Company began dam construction in the spring of 1910 and completed it in the fall of 1911, along with the Renaissance Revival style pump station. The 40 foot high, 15 foot wide earth dam was made of wood pilings and concrete facing on the reservoir side. Severe drought delayed the filling of the lake until 1914. The city of Dallas then purchased the land around the lake in 1919, and the lake provided water for Dallas sites until 1930 when the construction of Lake Dallas, what is now Lake Louisville, was completed. The land around the lake was transferred over to the Park Department in 1929, and the 1,254-acre White Rock Lake Park was created, making the area purely recreational in function. In 1930, an Art Deco bathhouse, swimming beach, and dance pavilion were built on the east side of the lake, with access provided to this area via a motorboat from the west side of the lake. In 1934, a municipal fish, ha fish hatchery was built near the dam to stock the lake with edible fish. From 1935 to 1942, during the Great Depression, the Civilian Conservation Corps established Company 2986 to employ individuals to make improvements around the lake. During a severe drought in 1952, the city of Dallas had to bring White Rock Lake back into imp basic infrastructure usage for emergency water. As a result of this, the swimming beach on the east side of the lake was closed, never to be opened again. The city continued to pull water from the lake for a few more years, um, and the pump station on the south end of the lake remained in use until 1964. Nowadays, the 1,000-plus acre lake, surrounding trails, and park space currently serve as a civic and recreational haven in the heart of Dallas for runners, cyclists, sailors, kayakers, rowers, fishers, and bird watchers. The lake is home to two Texas historical markers at the pump station and dam and the pump station is also an official Dallas landmark. To celebrate the Dallas Branch Centennial, the History and Heritage, Heritage Committee will be working on the nomination of the Lake Dam and Pump Station for a Texas Section Historic Civil Engineering Landmark Award. Please let us know if you're interested in supporting this cause.